All right, last time we played, we were in the Yukon. We were exploring um, this gorgeous map, and I was trying to figure out, we came in the other way. I want to see that this, like, really, this is a very remote location. I'm thinking we would have had to come in this way. Um, for some reason, we came in the wrong way, but we got here nonetheless. No, it's the same this way, too. So really, I don't know, unless you're supposed to come across the river, but there's really no crossing. Maybe if you're lucky, you could cross there. I don't know. Like, r I'm thinking maybe right here you could cross, possibly. But that's up to you, man. I'm not, to me, this was the better way to go. Uh, we're using what I'm assuming is a, a little bit of a cheaty, I don't know. It's not like Feared Fox's Bronco, where he would show up and just, like, full throttle his way through everything it's this truck you have to work with it um, but it what makes it a little bit overpowered to me is that it does carry a lot of fuel uh, and it also has the monster truck tires which only the Russian trucks have but I'm glad we have a truck that has monster truck tires that's American because once again I wanted to do North American trucks in North America and Russian trucks in Russia and I know the Russian trucks are better, and this is what they're designed for, and all blah, blah, blah. But I wanted to do these with American trucks. And I'm hoping still that I can complete this entire map with just using American trucks. But we'll see. A lot of my viewers were saying that it's impossible. Or difficult, at best. Like, you can't do it. But I want to prove them wrong, and I want to do it. But we'll see. Those kind of, those kind of proving people wrong usually doesn't go too well. I'll show you that I can do it. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> I still haven't found the all-wheel drive for the, the uh, um, what's it called? The, the flatbed truck. Uh, not the Enigma. The uh, It's Mr. Enigma that drives one in real life. The twin steer. <laughs> haven't found that upgrade kit yet. Yes, yeah, so you would have had to go this way. All right, where are we? Abandoned trailer. We're coming into some life here. And this guy's way, way over there. Man. I don't know. All right, well, we'll go this way, I guess. So, we've been talking about streaming again um, now that it's winter. I have a couple, another week or two before Christmas of work to do before things kind of dry up. So I think I probably will resume a, me a medium duty streaming schedule a couple days a week. Uh, not sure exactly how that's gonna go yet. But I might even do like a, during the week weekday evenings again, like two hours a night, Monday through Friday, and have the weekends off. We'll see. But I'm thinking that maybe uh, we can start that up again. Um, all right, so we're gonna, here's an opportunity for us to refuel, uh, and it's nighttime. So we're gonna spend the night here at this campsite, there's even an outhouse. We can sleep in the back of our truck and use the outhouse. We're gonna repair, no, we're gonna refuel. Let's get fuel out of the scout trailer. Fill our roof rack back up. <laughs> there's an empty scout fuel trailer. <laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to do that or not. We might get in trouble later on, but at least we have gas. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I'll be right back. We're gonna sleep for the night. All right, so the morning has come. Sunrise over the great Yukon, and I think, I don't see, gosh, this is like such a dead end. I think we have to go up over this mountain. I don't really see any other way about it. We'll try it. Here we go. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, uh, we, <laughs> frick. We may restart our, our streaming uh, again in a, in a week or two. Uh, so it'll be like December, well, the week before Christmas. Um, and uh, and just do some heavy streaming. Games that'll be streamed again will be uh, American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator, Flight Simulator we're gonna add. I found a career mode uh, for Flight Simulator. Right now I'm using On Air um, and I really like it. Uh, but there's another product that's very similar that doesn't have some of the online features, but it's, unfortunately with on-air, oh, there's a road. 
uh, you have to pay a monthly fee. Um, it's not real expensive, but it, you know it adds up. Like a full year, I think it's like sixty bucks or something. But it makes a career mode available for flight sim, so it's really nice that way. Um, okay, so there was a road here, and it, if I can follow, try to follow back, it must go through here back to that river. It's hard to see it once again. These maps are just not very clearly marked. Oh, keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. If we bog down in there, it's going to be a pain to get out. Okay, good. So we're good. Uh, but anyway, uh, so we'll be doing those games on stream. I will not be doing Farm Sim or Snow Run or anything like that. I'm going to be doing games that are, are well suited for the stream. So My Summer Car um, and, uh, once again, ATS, ETS, Flight Sim, and... Uh, Maybe train sims, stuff like that. Things that are a little bit more slow. Where I can't really narrate as much. Oh, jeepers, criminy. How do I get... This is like Dead End Canyon. The road is to our left. You can see it. I can see it here. So I think we need to backtrack and go back this way and around and go through to here. And that will take us up towards the tower. Because right now we're in a we're in a pretty deep valley. Quit bashing into stuff. Good grief! This truck's pretty jumpy. God, we need to go back across and out. Try to stay over to the right of where we were. Oh boy! Crunch. Okay, there we go. And once again, this truck just great stuff. So I'm glad I found a truck that was a good scout for this map. I was concerned that this mod would not be up to the task, but I like the way it looks. I like the way it works, and it's just well done. And that it's not too overpowered, but it's good enough that it can handle these kind of roads. Uh, I gotta say I'm impressed, uh, and I, that's what I was looking for. I'm, you, you guys know if you've been on my channel for any amount of time, I am really, really picky about mods. Like I, I will. People always send me mods like, "Dude, check out this mod for Farm Sim." Usually it's for Farm Sim, and I, I try it out, and I'm like, eh. you know, they loved it, but I'll find stuff. I'm like, if stuff is broken or not working, that makes me crazy. One thing I don't like about this mod is that it does have some misnomers in the, um, the upgrade. Uh, menus, but whatever. I mean, that part I can get over. Let's see, so this is going to go this way and out, so we're going to follow this around. Um, so, yeah, I can get, I can tend to get a fussy about mods, and SnowRunner is no exception, MudRunner is SnowRunner, but this is a great mod. It's well balanced and well looked, and just great. I love the look of this mod. It's a nice looking truck. What do you think? You guys like it? Let's get in the truck. It's what it's what I wanted. If I was gonna have a truck as a kid, man, this is what I would have wanted. Now I can see getting something like this. Like this is I understand this. I still don't necessarily understand why people love pickups so much, but I I, I get this thing. This to me, this is what I would buy as a truck. Because I use the inside part way like I got you know. I have a dog at home, and when, when Moni finally gets over, we're going to have three dogs, you know. And so you get a truck, and you throw them in there with the kids and the dog, and, you know, it's like go to the beach. No, that's not what I want. I want this. I'm going to repair the truck again. I don't know. I just, I can see, you know, like a Yukon or. Does Ford still make an Expedition? Is that a moose? What is that? Let's see what this is. I'm gonna build something here. It looks like there's a factory build. Or yeah, they want bricks. So we, you've been delivering a lot of bricks on this map. It looks like brick delivery. So our, that's 181, 
Oh, we can almost see it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to say, yes, most definitely, this might be the road. Most likely candidate here to the right. Though, I don't know. This one looks like it's turning the wrong way. Oh, wow. It's pretty steep grade. Oh, this stuff again. Ugh. Pull, dang it. Wow. Talk about a 50, 50, 45 degree, 50 degree uh, climb there. Yeah, this looks like it's going to turn the right way, hopefully. Right now it's not looking so good. Oh, there's another road that way. What? Where does that go? Where the... Okay. Oh, so we could have picked that up, too. I never. I didn't see that. Okay. Then once again, it's hard to see on the map, but there is a road from Arrogance up. Oh. This trail abruptly ends into a giant rock. And I've bounced my way the wrong way, so now we're not facing where we need to go. Slow it down. There's the road. And there's another junction to the right. Wow, that road goes somewhere else even, right? Yeah, there's one. No, that's not a road. Never mind. Okay. Wow, that just went. That was totally the wrong way. We did not get anywhere near where we needed to go. We got to deliver bricks here, too. Holy cow. What are we going to use to bring all that up here? This is like a nightmare road. Oh, man. Maybe the Ash. I don't know. It's like too narrow. Like it's big trucks aren't going to fit up here. Now we're back on track. Headed the right direction anyway. Uh, so I can see why people are saying that you need to have the Russian trucks for this map because I don't I don't know that any of our American trucks are going to be able to do this. This is insanity. Like you're going to seriously need a, a truck that has the same kind of tires as this truck does. <coughs> Which some of the Russian trucks do. They've got the balloon tires. Uh, all right, so we're getting really close now. I'm just going to let it roll. Oh, it's not too bad. That was the scariest part right there. And we're turning the wrong way again. Oh. But then it looks like it's turned those, it turns the right way. We're, we're just literally like less than 100 meters away. Come on. This is just a nightmare. Oh. <laughs> Wink. Nope, I don't need to attach a winch. There we go. We're 
I can I can I can almost smell the tower from here. <gasps> wow, that rock bounced me the wrong way. Once again, though, I love the integration of the rock crawling. And look at the snow glittering off that rock. That looks really amazing. Once again, living in a climate where it's like this, you do see that, by the way, guys. Even on just the snow, the snow actually glitters like when it's on the ground. It's really beautiful. If you haven't experienced it before, it's... I think we're going to have to wedge or winch our way up here. We're just, we keep sliding on the inside. I'm going to try to get up without winching, but okay, we did it. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this was the intended route. It's so aggressive. <laughs> now there's another way up. <laughs> Still fun to do it that way. So pretty. All right. Trailer Whirlpool, lost on route. Oh, green. Camping gone wrong. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. Western Bridge. Oh, my gosh. Uphill delivery. Well, we've done that. Doesn't look like we had an upgrade location discovered, though, so... Camping gone wrong. There's a gas station over there. Um, I don't know how we're going to get off this mountain. Looks like there's a road over here. So we'll head that way. Looks like the road comes down here. Goes to there, and then we'll be able to scoot out. Yeah, there's a road there. Scoot out that way. Okay, so looks like we just follow this around. So really, probably this is the correct way to come in. We did either way, but, I mean, this does not look much more promising, does it? We just have to cream ourselves off this huge cliff. Everything will be fine, right? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, oh I should have gunned it. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. I aim perfectly. I meant to do every every inch of that turn there and roll over. It was on purpose. I found that it's much easier to go down the hills backwards, so that's why we did that. <laughs> Look at my roof rack. Oh my god, the back of the truck is completely crushed. That's awesome. No actual bad damage to any of the mechanics of the truck, though, so, hey. We got away with it, right? Sort of. Go fast. Yes. We have no bananas. Camping gone wrong. Hey, is that it? Wait a minute. That's probably part of the camping gone wrong mission. We'll we'll leave that there for now, but there's a scout. That's pretty funny. That truck might have done okay on this map. Because it's all wheel diff. Or I should say it's all time diff. Ah. Got my motor. Yeah. I mean, I know we don't have the all-wheel drive for the twin steer. I don't think the twin steer would have done very well here anyway. <laughs> he would not have made it around any of these corners at all, ever. Here we go.
This is a mess. With a capital M. Come on, Bobby. You can do this. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a building. Okay. Looks scary from a distance, but it's just another <coughs> another opportunity to build. Uh, Tiaga. And once again, we're left to, whoops, cross the river. Repair, please. And we're gonna take all the fuel that we got. Oh, I got, uh, the heavy duty pipe has some fuel in it too, that's funny. Dump over. Oh, God. Come on, spin those wheels. Fight your way. Man, this is the current is really strong. It's going to wash my little truck away. That's awesome, we made it to Off Pitch Forks Farm. Somewhere there's a fuel station here. This is a bad road. <laughs> I cannot even get any like forward progress here. There's some trailer up there. some kind of mission. I don't know if I was supposed to come around this way. I thought this was going to be like a big U, like a city block type thing, and it doesn't look like it was at all. What kind of trailer is that? A scout trailer? It is. This might be a map where we have to use the scout a lot. That's a scout trailer with two loads of wood on it. Bogus. Wow, that's disgusting. I never want to see anything like that again, ever. All right, so it says that this is the gas station? No? No, up ahead. Oh, what? There was a bridge? There is a road that goes through here. Uh, short, looks like. Trailer Whirlpool. Man, I cannot believe the size of this map. I love the new assets. Like, they've got new buildings and stuff. It's not just recycled, reused stuff. It's all new. That's pretty cool. Some of the stuff's reused, but... So bad at driving this thing full speed. All right, some fuel up. Yeah, 
And we'll move on to our next target, which is right here. Looks to be fairly easy to get to, but you know how things go in the wacky world of SnowRunner. All of a sudden, you run across something like this. It's like there's a road, but really there's not. It's just a mud pit that crosses a river. And it'll take every ounce of fuel you have to get there, spinning your wheels. Still, it's pretty cool. Come on, little Ford truck. You can do this. I can't imagine doing this with other tires. I don't. I don't know what other American Scout truck you'd use. You'd have to go with like a con or something. I don't just you need these tires. Ugh, what a mess. That is the first time, amazingly, that I've seen that come up. Um, so we've been doing pretty good because. Oh, that's the first time I've been in deep enough water that we can get hurt. Okay, there's the train track and the road. I like the fact that there's a railroad. I don't. Oh my gosh. I don't know how we survived that without taking damage. We were fully submerged. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Train cars. What the heck is back here? Is this another garage? Trailer store. Oh boy. I saw that through the mist and that's looking like trouble. What is this? That looks like a job for the P-16. Or the P-12. Or, you know, the dairy probably would be able to do it. The big, the dairy big hauler, whatever they call that big one. Do, 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 do. Back into the muck. Um, that road is not going the way that I wanted it to go. That goes back around. Oh, and there's a broken bridge. Hell yeah. So like I said, it looked like it was going to be easy, but it's definitely not. Uh, where did we see those trailers? That was here. Uphill delivery. Uh, 
because I'm thinking that's going to be wood right there. Let's go take a look at it. Yeah. It's a wooden bridge, so I think, yeah, it's going to need, yep. Yeah. So we could grab those wood planks and do it. Uh, is there a way to get across without the wood planks? It's not looking like it. That is not at all shoot balls, what I meant to do. Ugh. No, 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 no. Well, let's go the other way and see what we see. And the tower is like right there, man. But we can't get across. There it is. <laughs> Shubashiba. Zubawe. All right, uh, refuel repair. Sploosh. Nope, nothing. I was hoping they'd give me a little... A little road of rocks, you know, or something like that to follow. Nope, we can't go that way. So, no, not yet. Don't be happy. You're, now it's not pavement, it's water. It looked like pavement for a second. I was like, oh, well. Oh. Okay, so we have some signs up here. What do we got on the map? Okay. Got a factory to the right and blah, blah, blah to the left. Warehouse, okay. New truck discovered. Useless. So that's pretty cool. We finally found the new Caterpillar, the other truck from this pack. Okay, um, this is just not leading where I want it to go. It, we might have to unlock the big island first and then come back. So I think we're going to do that in another episode because I am getting tired. It's late at night here, and it is past my bedtime. And so I don't want to like fade away while we're playing and fall asleep and crash into a rock. As I am prone to do from time to time, you've seen me do it before. <laughs> it's definitely have crashed into some stuff. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, 
Hopefully you enjoyed this episode as we continue to explore the mighty Yukon uh, in the Ford Bronco, the mighty Ford Bronco. So, folks, we will see you next time. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. I look forward to seeing you on the channel. And uh, just have a great night. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.